Why was it so important for SEMA to make sure that the SEMA show goes on as planned this year? Hey, yeah, great question, AJ. Really, uh, there, there are a couple of things. You know, of course, we weren't able to do a show last year. And uh, as we approached uh, the process of getting the show organized for this year, we had a really outstanding uh, showing of exhibitors who are interested in, in doing the show. Uh, as we moved through that process, uh, we also began to get registrations from the buyer community. And uh, today we have more than 1300 companies who are uh, on the floor plan ready to exhibit uh, at the SEMA show. We have about 28,000 uh, buyer attendees who are registered at this point and more coming in every day. And that to us uh, is a really strong indication that there are folks out there who both want and need uh, the opportunity to get together, reconnect for business purposes, uh, something that the SEMA show does so well. Uh, and then there are also other factors about the SEMA show that people really want to be there for. Uh, the, the matter of relationship building, the matter of being able to see the, the trends that have developed over that time uh, and, and be able to just get back in touch really with the, the industry, with the culture. And uh, you may talk to one or another person in the industry and then they, they can talk about why they don't necessarily uh, feel like they need to, to do the SEMA show this year. But then you can see there are lots of companies uh, who really feel like they do. And an interesting thing along the way, I've been doing this uh, job for a long, long time now. And uh, I've had the benefit of seeing what the SEMA show means to smaller and medium-sized companies. And the folks who really are relying on this annual connection point in order to show the cool new innovations that they have, the stuff that they've been working so hard on, in this case, over the past two years, uh, and to have that stuff be discovered by the retail community, by the warehouse distribution community, by the folks who are going to basically buy and order this stuff to put it in front of consumers uh, next year. And um, those are the companies who I think really are, are very, very hungry for that opportunity to reconnect. And uh, we stand ready to do it. Uh, you can see uh, there are shows and events taking place across the country, even now. And, you know, we're still... Uh, five, six weeks away from uh, the SEMA show, another month, month and a half. And um, yet there are, are great uh, trade events that are taking place even as we speak. So we, we feel like the demand is there, the interest is there. And for the folks who really feel like it will benefit their businesses, we wanna be able to try and provide that opportunity. Um, so for buyers and attendees at the show this year, what can they expect uh, in terms of floor layout, uh, interaction with exhibitors uh, and what all will be different and the same from years past? Great question. Uh, one of the really cool things that we're looking forward to debuting at the show this year is the new West Hall. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's an uh, additional uh, building to the, to the uh, LBCC, the convention center campus. Uh, most people probably saw it as a construction project over the last couple of years, mm -hmm. but it's finished. It's up, it's ready. Uh, we are, using that facility uh, to help host the show. Uh, we have the, the truck section uh, built into that uh, uh, new building this year. Uh, folks are gonna get to see too uh, what that building means from the standpoint of a modern uh, facility for these seminars and uh, workshops and other things that we do. Uh, they're wonderfully equipped uh, from a technology standpoint. And uh, it's, it's really, it's gonna be a, a, a I think a magnificent unveiling for a lot of folks. And that has allowed us to spread the show out a little bit. I think uh, folks were feeling like uh, the show was getting a bit crowded. Uh, it's kind of sad and ironic that here in a COVID year where uh, the show isn't going to be as big as it often is, uh, uh, we, we will have the, the show for the first time uh, featuring a little bit more space for people to move around. So uh, I think when they get there, uh, they're going to... Uh, understand that as we move back to a more normal show environment uh, where we have uh, people basically bursting at the seams, uh, we won't have that problem so much anymore. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And I think for a, a COVID year, it's great to be able to give people a little bit more distance too. So uh, that's something that's happening. And then uh, as always, 
uh, we're trying to move things around, new features at, at the show, uh, cool things for people to experience. You know, one of the things that, that we've done that makes the SEMA show a little bit more than just a B2B uh, trade show, it's become over the years that reflection of uh, car culture, uh, not just in America, but really it's the, I would say, the epicenter for car culture around the world. And uh, folks are going to get to see a lot of that cool stuff that is the mortar between the bricks, you know, the really uh, cool stuff that folks relate to as, as enthusiasts. So uh, we got a lot, of, a lot of good things happening. And um, like every show year, I think a lot of cool surprises for folks. Uh, you know, I might also say, AJ, people have asked about uh, the safety measures, and there's all kinds of information out there about that. There's another place that you can get good information uh, mm -hmm. on what's really going on at the SEMA show. But I, I can say, just to clarify for, for the folks who are tuned in, uh, the SEMA show is going to have in place the safety measures that are required by the Nevada Health and Safety Authorities. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have allowed for time to, to keep moving forward with so many changes that have happened in the last couple of months and, and things developing so quickly. We figured the best thing is to understand what the circumstances are closer to the time of the show and press then the, the authorities in, in Nevada to let us know what they expect is going to be required for our show. And that way there's less speculation, less guesswork, et cetera. We're, we're going to do what's, what's required. And uh, if the show were to happen tomorrow, currently in Las Vegas for indoor events of the sort that is a, a trade show, uh, the masking is, is the requirement. And so personally, what are you most excited about for the show this year? Uh, being able to see people again. Uh, you know, uh, I suppose I've been in this, uh, in this world working for the industry through SEMA for so many years because I love the people that when, when folks talk about what is it that is really your passion, uh, I discovered pretty early on that this organization has a great uh, ability to really help the industry companies. And I've always kind of thought of them as, you know, I tell this story often, David's in a world of Goliaths. Uh, my introduction of it was really helping out through uh, the government government affairs end on the laws and regulations that threaten the, the hobby. And, uh, you know, you have the EPA, you have the Department of Transportation, you have Congress, and really even with the car makers, you know, these are all giants. And <laughs> here you have these little companies that are out there doing this thing uh, that so many people uh, depend and rely on for all the cool stuff they do with their cars and trucks, and you just got to take care of them. So, I look forward to seeing those people. I look forward to interacting uh, with everybody again, uh, kind of reconnecting and uh, getting to hear from them. Hey, here's what's going on and here's what we need from SEMA and here's the direction we're headed and so forth. But I think for the, for the uh, companies in the business, uh, it's, it's that variation depending on, on who your company is and what your most pressing needs are. But I would say for a lot of them, it's going to be about reconnecting. And that was our, that's our theme for the show this year is to reconnect and uh, both personal relationships and business relationships. And then uh, the, the matter of, of products, uh, getting people linked up with, with great and innovative new products again.